Please welcome. Today I'm reviewing a shoe here. I know you guys have missed me a bit, so I'm going to use something that's really nice to introduce with. Um, today I'm introducing you guys to the Puma Future Rider Neon Play White Mace Colorway. Um, my first thoughts is that I'm never really a big fan of Nike per se. No, I'm fucking Puma, Puma, uh, Puma. Um, I've never really been a fan of Puma or just really looked for Puma type of sneakers. Um, they just never really caught my eye because I've always been like a Nike Adidas type person. I just felt like Puma just was like one of those like older type shoes that we'd use maybe for like running shoes. But now that I see them, they're making a lot more meaningful sneakers, a lot more creative with their shoes. And I saw these and they were very cheap. So I figured why not get them because they are actually a very nice quality sneaker. And I, I believe Puma's making a lot more higher quality sneakers. I'm not saying they didn't make high quality sneakers, but like, you know, Puma is established with great quality. Um, so like I said, these are the white maze colorway. It's made out of some suede on the toe and on the side of it as well, back on the heel as well, through the mid, a little bit of the mid. And you got, uh, throughout the mid as well, you got some like white leather through these like stripes, got the, Nice stitching, which is really clean. You know, sometimes when you handle st shoes that have some stitching, it may be a bit bumpy, but these are very smooth throughout. So I have that little area of leather. And then on this, like the top of it, where the like lace holes and all that, it's kind of like a bit of a mesh fiber type, uh, sub, like a feel, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that, um, that's the right term for it, and it, but it's really nice. And then like on the lace holes, I think it's leather as well. Um, it has a very unique, has a very primary color base um, with the blue, the yellow, and the red. I think they use it subtly, which I think is a very like good way of using it. Cause I know they could have just like blasted so much color onto it, but I think making the main theme color white is a better move. You still get the prim like primary colors, which pops out a little bit. Like as you see, you got the red on the little here, like the little tags or flaps here. And then you got the red a little bit on the rubber uh, midsole. You got the yellow throughout the front padding through the tongue. The, the tongue is actually cool because it's like, it's stitched at the bottom, but the top is like, there's nothing there. So it's like very adapt, like bendy and flexible. Kind of like, it's a very th uh, thin tongue too, which is nice because it can get really uncomfortable on your heel. Um, and it has blue throughout. It has a bit of a blue outlining throughout the shoe. Got the Puma like tag as you see there. Got the logo and then you got a bit on the hang right here as you see the shoe. Um, I like what they used. They didn't use too much, which I think if you, sometimes less is more. And I think they did that a very good job on that. Um, obviously what we're talking about here, we got the little bit of the hang, kind of has like uh, Nike Sakai vibes, um, but not quite as like big of a hang. I don't mind it. Would I necessarily want this on the sneaker? No, but I think it's definitely something that you may have to get used to and all that. Cause I mean, if you're wearing it, if you're like, it may just get caught up in something and it may cause some tear on it because like these, I would assume these are pretty like glued in a bit. So like, it just takes a good whack and it probably like is pretty prone to like cracking and all that. Um, they have these yellow blocks as you see here. These yellow blocks are used for more stability and like uh, comfort when you're wearing them. Cause you're, these are active wear shoes nonetheless. So if you're, when you're wearing them, they create um, stability and you know structure when you're wearing them, and it creates more of a comfortable feel because like you want to be, you don't want your shoe to be loose or like very, um, you know, can't provide protection for your foot. Um, the the sole here is really nice. It's got like a bit of a bounce to it, which I think is really nice because whenever you're wearing it and it has that little bounce, it creates a lot more. Uh, ability for your shoe to like breathe and all that and be able to do like the active type stuff that you're doing um and then has like this uh puncture holes throughout the shoe because like if anything these would probably be like a golf shoe 
but I think you can do these for like for anything like soccer, you know, basketball type. It's like, it's a very durable shoe. So I think you can do a lot with it. And then, yeah, the only thing that I think would suck though is because this is like suede. If you stepped in a puddle or like went through a dirt and all that, these would be, that'd be so hard to get off. Um, like I said, this might like rip too if you like hit it the right way and you know it being light you're always going to be risking some stains so i mean other than that it's a really high, good quality shoe i'm kind of a fan of how it looks i'm a i always like low shoes because you can wear them any way or anyhow like you, of highs you may have to wear like pants to make it look good because you may look unproportionate or the shoes don't look like too big or too small so i think lows you can always rock so if I, I would suggest buying them because they're cheap too. They're like, I bought them for like 110 bucks. So it's a nice thing that I'm going to be adding to my website, which I'm going to mention right now. So I haven't been posting as much because I've been trying to work on this website. This website is um, trying to sell my sneaker collection towards the people that who want that want them. Um, I'm only providing sizes 10 and a half and 11 right now. But in the future, I want to add more sizes as I'm making more money. Um, I, that should be coming in in the next couple months or so. Um, I'm also making a lot of content around it, like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Um, maybe, maybe doing more of Snapchat type of content. And yeah, and obviously school has been a bit of a hassle, but honestly, I'm excited for what the, this, uh, my sneaker collection and my website, because that'll be the beginning of something really huge, I hope. And it'll be something that I want to give out to people because I know Canada doesn't get that sneaker love as the U.S. So, yeah, I'm um, thank you guys for watching the sneaker review. I will be posting more videos in the next week or two. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next.